Hello everybody. Today we are going to look at the introduction to the petrochemical business. Petrochemical business as you know it originated from North America and they have got a fantastic database which many other countries don't have. That is North American Industry Classification System NAICS. Other countries may or may not have this database. US companies have planned for extra capacity around 2019 based upon their shale gas production. Chemical industry has experienced a cyclic pattern, particularly in countries like India. What happens is that capacities were added by the time extra capacity is on stream, the demand decreases. After some years, the demand again increases, but by that time the production is not as per this demand. And therefore, the cyclic nature continues. So main feedstock today, globally, for chemical industry is crude oil. Crude oil is a mixture of hundreds of chemicals, mainly made up from carbon and hydrogen. Other minor elements like oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur and phosphorus may be present. What are the typical operations of refining? First is of course washing and desalting because petrol is or crude oil is mined, so there are some salts. Then distillation, either atmospheric or under vacuum. Light ends processing, extraction and distillation, alkylation, Hydrogen manufacturing, hydrocracking, hydro processing, catalytic reforming, right up to we can go up to petrochemical manufacturing. So these are typical operations and now we can see those one by one. Now this is a simple picture that in a distillation column, what are the various fractions, gases, what gases are there, then light naphtha, which is stretched in gasoline, heavy naphtha, kerosene, gas oil, lubricating oil, heavy fuel oil and asphalt. So they depend upon the temperature at which they come out. The constants of light ends, what are the constants? C1 fraction, methane mainly. C2 fractions, ethane or ethylene. C3 fractions are propane or propylene. C4 fractions are butane and butylenes. And C5 is mixture, number of compounds. As we have seen, fraction 1 consists mainly of gases. And this fraction is being treated for light ends recovery from which we get fuel gases. LPG and also sulfur recovery. Light ends as we saw in the previous slide are also subjected to alkylation. From light ends we also recover hydrogen and therefore hydrogen manufacturing is one of the activities. Now what is alkylation? Alkylation it gives you high octane number for your product. If the gasoline that we use has a poor octane number what happens is that it does not fire properly is because the fuel what was used had a low octane number. Now, how it is done? By isobutylene and isobutene, they react together to give you the compound which has very high octane number which is called as the isobutene octane and that reaction has been shown here. So far we have seen the refining of fraction 1 to 5. 